a church in Democratic Republic of Congo's eastern city of Beni. Father Isidore Masengo Kambale inspects the damage caused by an explosion. Schools, churches and markets have been ordered closed after two blasts hit the city at the weekend. A militia that claims to have links to Islamic State has been blamed. Two people were injured at the church where Kambali said many of his parishioners had already been displaced by war. It continues to instill fear in the hearts of Christians because in our parish there are many displaced people who have fled war in the bush and sought refuge in the city. And so when it comes to the town itself, it is even worse. No one was killed apart from the suspected bomber, authorities said, after an explosive device detonated prematurely at a busy intersection. The army said Sunday's attacks bore the signature of the Allied Democratic Forces, which has used improvised explosive devices in the past. The ADF, which originally hails from Uganda, has been accused of killing thousands of people since 2014, mostly in massacres in remote villages. Islamic State, which has claimed dozens of killings blamed on the ADF, said it had carried out the attacks and that two people had died. However, UN experts say they've not found conclusive evidence that Islamic State has control over ADF operations. UN and independent experts have also cautioned that some attacks blamed on the ADF have in fact been carried out by different militias or factions of the Congolese army.